Hello and welcome back to our Civ 6 playthrough. This is part 7 and I'll have you know, trying to do that intro just took me like 5 attempts. I kept saying Pokemon. Oh, I'm not used to this. This is, this is a, <laughs> this is a moment. I'm just having a moment, okay? And we are here and this episode, we're going to be focusing on getting through turns, to be honest. This episode is probably going to be a lot of building, a lot of improvements on our basic tiles, our basic resources like food and production. Because I feel like they're a little bit low. I do feel like we have a nice size on our cities, like 13, 12, 11, 11. That's kind of nice, especially when you see other people's capitals are 8 and 8. I mean, That's kind of nice. We'd be at it all day. Uh, we can also get 100% commercial hub district adjacency bonuses. Not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about changing any of our policies just yet. Uh, We're going to start towards... Oh... Declare war. In other words, they, it gives us reasons to declare war. Not that I'm too worried about that, because I already declared war without giving a damn, and that's why everyone starts to hate me now. But, <laughs> who? Whoa. Whoa. Congo, you have some culture, don't you? Damn. Congo is ahead of us in terms of culture. I'll give them that. We're going to head towards the Enlightenment. So that's going to be our next aim, and I'm going to focus a little bit more on culture, because I do feel like we're a little bit behind on it. I'm not I'm not amazingly worried about culture. I just want to get everything up to scratch. Because we have a nice science per turn. I do want to work on our culture per turn though. So I'm going to start making everything go to just automatic explore. Because honestly... Oh. We can't auto explore if they're linked with another unit. That's... I guess it's safer, but... Mm. I don't know if it's necessary. But they'll be exploring the map, and hopefully they will find us the other two civilizations that are in this game soon. Unless small makes it only be four civs. If that's the case, I'll be disappointed, because small should be six. But it, I don't really see where else they would be on the land, unless they're right in the middle of this chunk. I guess they are actually right in the middle of that chunk. That, that, could, be a, that could be a thing. We can build a lumber mill there. All is good. We can come all the way down here. We can scout out that nice ice. Yay. <laughs> it's the most important thing you can do, right? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right, what tiles are being worked by Eretium so we can see what tiles we want to work? Uh, this tile, definitely. Right, okay. We're gonna head over to this tile for a farm first, and we'll head, like, these three tiles, maybe? So, we'll make a farm. Uh, we will also hook up this luxury, which is something we needed to do a while ago. So you should be at plus one, although apparently you're not. A little bit worried about that. Uh, don't know why that's still saying we're only at plus one. You're still on production focus. I do not want you to have a focus. You can go back to just being neutral. Plus one amnesty because you are no longer focused. That's good. <laughs> you can go plus one amnesty if I say to production focus. That's weird. Or maybe it's just updating because of the luxury. I'm going to assume it's just updating. So you're at plus four. Plus five. Okay. So it, it's just updating. Got it. Everyone have a plus one. Look at how weird that is. Okay. So I don't know if I actually want you on any focus. Uh, do I want you on production focus? Do I want any focus at all? I think I'm going to have no focus on anything at the moment, and we'll just see how things go. And I might make... Right, if I set manage citizens, do, what districts do I have here? I have a holy district, which I don't really care about. Would not mind getting another campus somewhere, and I wouldn't mind getting a theater square somewhere. But I don't want to get rid of all of my base tiles. They, you have to think a lot more than in Civ 6. In Civ 5, I should say. Well, wow. Plus one production to all rainforest tiles must be built on a rainforest. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't really benefit much if it's only one rainforest, so we're going to scrap that. So we have like two rainforest tiles total, so that's not the best one for us to get. Instead, you know, we could still get more builders. 
could also think about settling another city, but I think we're fine with four cities. I don't want to expand too much. I guess we go to whatever was at the bottom, which would be the commercial hub investment for a few turns, and we'll see how that goes. We'll get uh, closer to great people, we'll get a money influx, although we're not... I haven't seen much to spend our money on, because you can't buy city-states. The suzerain of the sea can pay 415 gold to take temporary control of all its military units. Ooh. 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 That's... That's a... That's a big button there. That is a big button. I'm just gonna say. Because say, like, there was an enemy here. Say Toronto was my enemy. Bam. All these units would be under my control. That's amazing. Especially if you have a militaristic sea state. Because every sea state has, like, a certain trait bonus. So, like, some will give more culture. Some will give more science. Some will give more military prowess. If they have a military prowess say, then bam. You are in good luck. Uh, I think we're going to start trading with uh, Nan Modal for the culture per turn. Because our culture is lacking. There's no denying our culture is definitely lacking. Our culture is not the best. So I'm going to start going towards that. I just don't want to be second at anything, basically. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Uh, we will move to here. We will build a farm. All is good. And we will continue walking this guy around because he cannot go into auto-explore, which sucks. Absolutely sucks. Was that the, that builder's last turn? Damn. I wish builders had more turns. What is this? Jade. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. I like that being a luxury. Okay. I'm a fan of that. Uh, we will start coming down to work. Uh, we're already working the wheat. We already have an improvement here. We'll head into that rainforest next turn and start building improvements there. So just out of curiosity, can I remove 0.25 movement left? What? <laughs> so, so, sorry, what? 0.25 movement? What is that? You can move a quarter of a tile if you'd like. I am... <laughs> Just put it to zero movement. <laughs> I guess it's because roads, but still, like, no. <laughs> no. That's annoying. Rumor has it the Congo just declared war on France. <laughs> Rumor has it France is apparently in the game. <laughs> More importantly. <laughs> but those two going to war is great for us. Because it will stop both of them progressing for a little while, which will be good. Like, we had our little war with Cypher over there, and we, we we didn't benefit too greatly out of it. I mean, because we got the cities, we managed to bounce back, but mm, not, not too keen on the whole war front, because it can slow down all of your productions, and I don't like that. We can also build the Chichen Itza. No, we could already build the Chichen Itza. Wasn't there a new thing we were looking for? Ah, Forbidden City. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, I don't want to get rid of my stone... Why can that only be built there? Let's see. It must be built on flat land adjacent to the city centre. That will be built in the secondary city then. We are not going to be building that in this city, that is for certain. But that is a wonder I would like to pick up because I like the wildcard policy. Uh, we're going to build walls because we'll need to do it eventually. Okay. So can this place right here... We could make a temple. We probably should make a temple at some point. Uh, we can see what we can buy, because at the moment we have a lot of money, and I don't want that to rack up for too long. So we'll buy a monument. That sounds nice. Uh, we will also buy a temple, so we actually have somewhere building a temple. If I'm in control of the Shinto religion, do I get the benefits for it? Or is it still classified as their religion? Religion, Shinto. Feed the world. Shrines and temples provide food equal to their intrinsic faith output? Okay. Allows construction of pagodas. Uh, all religions. Founder Rome, founder... Okay, so it's the person that founded the religion. 
Damn it. Because <laughs> that did all of my saves. That sucks for us. But I would like to build the Forbidden City if I can. And I can. We will build it there. Goodbye, Rainforest Pile. Uh, we'll see how negatively that affects us. And we will move on to that Rainforest Pile and build an improvement there next turn. So, things are looking good. Things are looking very good. Cypher is not angry as such. I mean, they're denouncing us, but they're not bringing units to us. Like, there's been one horseman and one scout. I haven't seen, like, a bunch of catapults on our borders, which is good. <laughs> well, I should say, we haven't seen that yet. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, we still have legions and catapults, which are probably a little bit behind in terms of the tech we could have. We should probably get, like, some actual military units, like, some guns. But we'll we'll see about that. When, when do we get guns? We still don't even have to think for pikemen, and we can already get musketmen, which... They're not actually that far apart. Actually, you know what? The does seem like they're not that far apart, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we will continue to move along here. We'll see if there's anything we can build there. We cannot. Huh. What tiles are being worked? Once again, so I would like to build a farm here, and I would like to build something here. We're going to head to this tile here. And we cannot build a farm. It's hard to see if there's already an improvement somewhere. It really is. Remove feature marsh. Yields 101 food. And then we could just build a farm here anyway, right? So it would just be a giant food increase. Sounds worth it. 101 food. Just an instant increase. Although, if the, if the builder disappears, however, that's bad. But still, 101 food? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, I feel like this unit is just following this unit now, and that's that's a problem, but oh well. Uh, can we build anything here? Removes the rainforest from the plot. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Uh, instead... Hmm... There's not really a way to see if a unit has an improvement on it, or if a tile has an improvement on it. Not a unit. Don't listen to me. I'm getting tongue-tied. There's not a clear way to see. I mean, with farms, you can see it quite clearly, but... Hmm. I guess it's just getting used to it. Getting used to what things look like. Oh, well. We can put a lumber mill here, at least. So we'll do that next time. Nice and simple. We'll head next turn, and I do want to find France. Not gonna lie, that is pretty much a top priority for me right now. Tread on dangerous waters <sighs> of England and her loyal colonies. I know why this is happening. This is happening because I declared war and I've still got a capital, okay? So because I have two capitals, that's... That's, that's a big problem. That's a big problem. But I'm not going to just give up a capital C, okay? I'm going to happily take two capital Cs. That is fine. So they can denounce me all they like. They can be as unhappy as me as they like. If it comes to it, I shall kill them. Ha 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 Anyway, yeah, I'm kind of sad that they hate me. <laughs> I, I really am. Uh, we can build a workshop, which gives extra production. We can build the Hagia Sophia, which I don't care about. Chichen Itza, which again, I don't really care about. And that's like it. So I think either workshop or we get monument. And I think we're gonna go for a monument because we are lacking in the culture department. So I don't really see anything else this unit can do. So I might actually bring him back for defense in case any barbarian uh, galleys, or whatever you want to call them, come over to us. Not galleys, quadri reams. Quadri reams. That is so difficult for me to say. And I don't know why. Oh, quadri reams. So, this marble. This tile still looks pillaged. I'm pretty sure this was... Was this... This is a quarry that's been pillaged. Well, that's one thing we need to get sorted. Why did I think this was a holy site? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I can just... Oh, dear. That's... <sighs> that was... That was silly. That was silly. I should... 
should buy a builder over here, as, let's face it, I have plenty of money to. I can quite easily buy a builder or two. So this rice is definitely improved. So you can see if it's improved. Farm. Got there in the end. This holy site though, this holy site looks terrible. <laughs> looks absolutely terrible. Okay, choose research. What do we feel like heading towards today? Gunpowder would be good. Gunpowder would definitely be good. Would get us towards metal casting, which would also be good. Oh, that's what that two means. That means there's two people there. I like this bar, just saying. Uh, sales would be good. Industrialization would also be quite nice. 5% production in the city, that sounds really nice. What's the next thing that gives us an actual science benefit? You know, flight is kinda nice looking. Infantry, infantry was really late on normally. I guess we are actually getting to quite a late point in the game. Turn 145, we're actually a lot further on than I thought. Um, We'll head towards metal casting next. I will click next turn. So, need more housing. Aretium needs more housing. Great. I can't even click that off. So, Aretium needs more housing and probably this city here, I'd imagine. Bit of an issue, bit of an issue, but we'll slowly work towards those sewers. And then we can get some, uh, some housing off of that. Right. I should probably keep up to date on my policies and government and all of that stuff. Unlock for 75 gold? What? We have the money, what does that mean? Why were our policies locked? Why did our policies get locked? I'm not entirely sure what that was. Bonus great people points in nine more turns in a classical republic. Okay. We can also change to monarchy. Plus two housing in any city with Medieval walls, but this one gives us amity, which is our main problem at the moment, so I kind of want to keep with that. If I had another way to get amity, then I would... I mean, I don't need that many military policies anyway. So I think we're fine here. I think this is still the best thing we can be on. Uh, maybe when we can get things like democracy, that's a lot of cards. Just saying, democracy gives a lot of cards. I'm looking forward to democracy. I want to head towards that at some point. So yeah, we'll head towards that eventually. Uh, I may as well recruit the great people, because great people are great for a reason. We will move you onto there, and we will get you just to do whatever you want. Your trade routes to your own city is great. 0.5 gold for each specialty. Yes, that sounds great. That sounds great. That sounds wonderful. And we get an extra envoy, which gives us more money, and gets us an extra bonus with Hatusa, which gives us more science, and that, oh, that combo. C -c 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 combo breaker, right there. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, and the builder can make another farm, and all is good in that place. Now, let's bring this guy straight, straight down to that quarry, because we need that fixed. That will bring us amity and happiness and great things. 27 turns for the Forbidden Sea. 27. Okay, that's a lot of turns, just saying. Do you know how I feel about that? That 27 is a bit much. Are we that low on production or are wonders more difficult? We are gonna quickly click on the C, change it to production focus. Doesn't do anything. We'll keep it there though, because it's like a couple of turns quicker and that's better than nothing. We can make a shipyard. Uh, hmm. 
25% combat experience, that's good. Bonus production equal to the adjacency bonus of the Harbour District, that's... meh. Plus one production, that's okay, I guess. Bonus production equal to the gold bonus of its district. I mean... I mean... It's, it's not terrible. We'll build a shipyard. It's not terrible. Uh, you can build... We could build walls, or we could build a workshop. I'm gonna build a workshop there. So everyone's everyone's building something important, apart from Aretium right now. That will change when we get sanitate. We're gonna go for sanitation after this, so before I forget that, uh, I am going to hold shift and click sanitation to set that as the next thing in the queue. I don't think it actually queued it. Do you wanna... Does not seem like it wants to queue for some reason. Probably because I'm in the middle of a turn. That would be it. Don't do that in the middle of a turn. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, that's now set up. You can tell by the little three in the corner. Right. Uh, we can also repair this improvement, which will be very, very useful. It will give us an extra production and an extra money, and all is good. All is good there now. I can't believe I let that stay that way for so long. That's kind of crazy. The Chichen Issa could actually have a bonus over here, because there's a fair few rainforest tiles in this part. Uh, maybe. Maybe we will at some point. Who knows? This unit is going to basically go to sleep there, because that's going to become a little bit of a defensive unit. Or if I change my mind and decide I want a navy to, like, take down this city, for example. I mean, I probably won't, but... Let's say, for an example, I want to take down this city over here, then I can bring him around and attack. That's units, now that I look. They... Hmm. Hmm. Just, uh... Just, why do you have a catapult? Uh... Su supposed friends, why do you have a catapult? I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of this. Not a fan of this at all. You, you can put that gavel away right now, okay? Yeah, yeah, you can put that gavel away. Please put that gavel away, it's scaring me. Uh, we're gonna bring the crossbowman. No, we're, we're gonna leave the crossbowman where he is. He's, he's fine. Uh, hmm. So, Legion, you're gonna walk forwards. My crossbowman from up here is going to start making his way down, because he isn't actually being useful at the moment. I might move the catapult to the left and buy a new unit. <sighs> okay, I should have known this would happen eventually. We're going to buy a crossbowman, and we're going to start preparing for war again, I guess. I didn't think that they would be silly enough to do this. But it seems like they are silly enough to want to go to war with me still. So, we'll fortify him there. As for the builder, what do you even want to do right now? <laughs> you can start making some lumber mills, I guess. We will fortify as many units as we can. We'll continue moving everything down and around, and we'll see if they're actually going to all of us. They might all move all of their units back all of a sudden. They could move all those units back. I kind of hope they do, because if not, I'm going to be forced to take another city. My, that's a catapult moving back. That's a good sign. Adding the new settlement. Yep. Yep. I get the feeling they really don't like us for some reason. I can't think why. And the era of diplomatic delegations have passed. It is important that we now establish embassies with our friends and allies. Embassies, you say? Embassies. In diplomacy, there are two kinds of problems. Hmm. Small ones. Diplomatic service. Right. Into the government policies again. So we should have an extra wild card policy. Or no. Look at how many frickin' policies are in Civ 6. Oh my god. That's a lot of policies. <laughs> so I don't know if this housing increase is actually really that beneficial, because I don't think many of my cities have free district, but I want to keep it just in case it is affecting them. Uh, I don't really want to change anything, to be honest. 
could have sworn we just had something that gave us an extra wild Oh no, that's the wonder I'm working towards that gives us an extra wildcard policy. Do not worry. That allows us to get a load of holy wars and stuff. Basically gives us reasons to go to war. We don't need to worry about that. Never mind. My bad. I got um, completely confused there, to say the least. So yeah, I have three districts in this city, for example, so I'm actually getting plus two housing. Your max housing. Okay. I don't think we have any other way to increase our housing right now. We can't create a harbor. I think we'll start creating a harbor. That sounds nice. <laughs> what, a, what a nice casual thing. Oh no, our people have run out of houses. They'll just send them into the ocean. They'll be fine. <laughs> who, who needs them, right? <laughs> They'll make do. Oh dear. <laughs> I've, just, I've got a beautiful image of just people just being chucked into the ocean. That's... Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe we won't do that. <sighs> All of these size 14 cities. Size 14 seems good, though. I mean, it's better than this city that's just been stuck at size 3 for I don't know how long now. I'm just glad I'm not that city, to be honest. And we'll continue going through turns. The number of your people living in your empire is truly impressive. I, It's like he can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> it's actually like he can hear what I'm saying. Is there... I don't really want to press the button because I don't want to... Right, before on Civ 5, if you pressed F9, it would bring up like a demographic screen. I don't want to press that just yet because I don't want it to accidentally like end my recording or something. That would be bad. <laughs> Your troops tread too close to my borders. Uh, no, no, we're actually just passing by. I'm not gonna declare war if you don't, and you, my troops too close to your borders? Hello? Hello? Are you, are you blind? Do you not see your own troops on my borders, perhaps? Just, it's freaking rude. I'm, I'm kind of offended. Triggered. <sighs> Either way, we'll keep uh, building up some production in this city because it needs it. We'll probably be able to get a quarry on that stone, although I think this is the last uh, build that builder has, so to speak. That, that is a battering ram. Can you not? I'm gonna just suggest next turn I build myself walls in that city. That's an idea. I should do that. Let's do that. I'm going to go around and use my money to build walls in all of my cities, because that seems like a wise investment with this person so angry at me. That seems very wise. Look at me doing smart things. Yay. Uh, we can build a work... Wait, what? Can we not build walls? We can't build walls. Well, we, we can build walls, we can't buy walls. That's... Hmm... Hmm. That's a little bit odd. Yeah, we can purchase things like banks and amphitheaters and stuff. Huh. We're gonna buy an amphitheater for the extra culture, I think. Uh, we can also buy a bank for the extra money. Eventually, we'll get our money back from that because of the plus five gold per turn. So we're actually gonna do that. And that boosts our knowledge of economics considerably. That's good. I like the Eureka. Eventually, as I said, I'll get used to these Eurekas, and then it'll be fine. But uh, for the time being, it's like, oh, surprise Eureka. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. There is a good feeling when you're like, hey, you did something right for once. It's it's good. It's, it feels nice. It feels like a, a, the game appreciates me. Je vous souhaite la bienvenue à mon royaume. You are. J'ai grand désir et envie de découvrir tous vos secrets. Well then. She's drinking wine. That's a classy lady. She knows what's up. She knows that alcohol is the cure. <laughs> she's, she's smart enough to be like, what, my country's in danger? Psh, I'm gonna sit here and drink. You deal with it. Oh my god, the units, the units, please stop, <laughs> please, <laughs> okay, meeting France is good, 
Being France is very good for us. Um, we can possibly make an embassy. Is an embassy a thing we can do? No? No gold? No luxuries? No other cities? What is this person doing? No gossip. But I want to gossip. Oh, she's at war with the unmet player and... And Congo. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Establish a permanent embassy with this power. If accepted, the recipients will be a bit friendlier and you will gain a level of access. Sure. We're not interested. Wow. Wow. Okay, fine. No embassy with them. Got it. Fine. You you go ahead and do that. It's freaking rude. What about you? <laughs> you have an embassy with me? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. Discuss. Uh, no, I have I have nothing to discuss really. I wouldn't mind taking your whales. What do you want for whales? Nineteen gold per turn, free gold. What about just? What about? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we tone that down a little bit, please? No. So you won't take ten gold per turn from me. But you will take nine gold from me. <laughs> and here I was thinking they'd fix the civilization deals. But no, yeah, sure, I'll take that. <laughs> Quality. Quality civ right there. That should stop them going to war with me, maybe. No, no promises there, that's for certain. Ah, oh, god damn it. We can make a spy. We'll take Spy. We'll take all the Spies. Spies are good. Spies are very, very good. Uh, we'll move you over here with the Siege Unit. And you will fortify for the rest of time. So this this guy actually still has a unit left. Okay. As for what the city, the city is working, can I work that stone? Yes, I can. You are going to go and work that stone. So you're going to go and make a quarry for the extra production. Because this city seems to be doing okay in everything other than production. When sanitation is done, build two neighborhoods. I don't even know how we build one neighborhood. Huh. I I don't I don't know how we build a neighborhood. I don't know what a neighborhood is. I haven't seen that yet. Hmm. Neighborhood. I uh, I don't know. Oh, what is happening over here? Oh, are barbarians attacking my ship? Barbarians. Barbarian Archer! No! <laughs> Go away! You're an archer, no one cares. <sighs> Actually, the damage though, that's the scary thing. So yeah, walls. Walls, walls. Definitely building walls, okay? That is 100% the thing that we are doing. We can also purchase uh, a bombard. <laughs> Would not be the worst idea. Very expensive, though, so actually I'm gonna just not do that. If they actually go to war with us, I will then splash the cash. Until then, I am not going to. Though we did have a friendly deal. We have a little bit of a Cold War happening right now. A recent news article revealed that England has denounced the evil deeds of Russia. So Russia is in the game. Good to know. That tells us the last person in the game. Feels weird, we have like generic sort of civs, like England, France, Russia, Rome, and then we have Congo and Cypher, which are just some some new weird civs that I was not expecting to join, but I'm happy about it. Uh, your large city is getting overcrowded, it's time to start planning for some suburbs. Your progress towards urbanization has advanced considerably. So, us maxing like all of our, <laughs> all of our housing has been a good thing? <laughs> to an extent? Okay. So Russia must be over here. This must be Russia, right? These borders have to be Russia. Okay. We know who's in the game. I'm not too concerned about actually going and seeing them, but we know who's in the game. So what happens if you go over your housing capacity? Congo has been targeted by war. Okay, I thought that was me. Not gonna lie. I got a little bit scared. 
<laughs> but nope, it's just the Congo having war with everyone. Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay. That's not war with us. That's that's okay. Oh, we're not getting hurt today. We will trade with Rome. Which will be very good. And we will bring it this guy. Oh! To me. It's natural wonder. A glitter of green and golden wonder in a vast edifice of stone and space. Well then. I like that. I like the wonder. I don't know if the wonder 100... Ah... Uh, Hmm. The points spent will apply as a discount to the great person, allowing other players to acquire it for less points. I don't want other players acquiring it. No, mine. <laughs> I was tempted to pass because I didn't really want one, but if it means someone else is going to get it, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, we'll keep him. We'll just keep him there for now, and we'll eventually put him with the unit that comes back, and we will turn that unit into a caravel. So that seems good. Look at all of these units just waiting for war. I am not a fan. I am not a fan. I do not like. We will get another envoy next turn, which will be good. We have a size 15C as well, which is looking nice. 15 at 17. 14 at 14. 14 at 15. 14 out of 14. Okay, so yeah. Kinda, kinda running out of space in our cities. So, sanitation will be quite nice. I'm just gonna stockpile my money until I can spam it out everywhere. Just everyone have, everyone have sewers. Everyone become Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Get trained by Master Splinter. Everyone will be fine. It's gonna be great. I have high hopes for these sewers and the living in these sewers. Uh, I want to bring this unit all the way to... Wait, where am I? How did this unit get here? Oh, I went through there. I want to bring him all the way back home. So that's going to take a few turns. <laughs> that's going to take a lot of turns, but we'll see how that goes. You need to be building walls. I swear I made this thing get walls. Oh, I got the first set of walls. We're going to go for the second set of walls now. <laughs> <sighs> all the defenses. All the defenses right now. So we're ten turns away, ten turns away from the Forbidden City, which will be a lovely bonus. And I think we are gonna have promise broken. Your promise to this. Alhambra has been built. Um, these are a little bit buggy. They don't respond straight away. Your promise. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Oh, select the city to espionage. We are going to keep one thing in Rome. This looks weird. Two turns to travel to city, one turn to establish. Okay, so this is the amount of turns it would take. We're going to definitely keep in Rome to counter spy to protect our campus. Because I am worried... Yeah, we'll confirm him there. And we'll counter spy to protect the campus. Okay. Okay, that's good. Your promise to the Scythian Empire to move the troops on the border has been broken. Well... No, it hasn't. Honest. Don't don't hate me. Oh, wow, they're at peace already? That, that lasted, like, a turn. What? <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> I want war. <laughs> Why? I would like the Oxford University, but mm. we're going to get another builder and we're going to send him down to this part of the city to work these tiles over here. That seems like the smartest thing that we can do as of this moment, as we continue to head towards sanitation because we will need the extra housing benefits. So we came off their border, let's see if they'll come off our border. Doesn't look like it. does not look like it. That's kind of disappointing. I thought they would more just like move away and be nice, but <sighs> if they do go to war with us, they might actually do some serious damage. That'd be bad. 
So we're close to entertainment, which is good, because that will get us closer to these policies, which is the 100% campus. I like that. 100% science, anyway, not 100% campus. Oh, it is, it is, it is not my moment, this. I am being silly. And we can also get plus one amenity to all cities with two specialty districts. I like that as well. So I like, I like all of these in the Enlightenment. I really do. As for everything else, we can just happily click next turn. We have nothing we need to worry about this turn. Except for possible war. That's the only thing worrying me right now. That possible war, because I don't really want to lose their city. This is actually their city in the first place, but I mean, still. This has only just got to size 4. Why is this city so bad? Oh my god. No. These are both size 8. Just doesn't seem to be doing well. We can go and create a farm over here or over here. We're just going to run over here first. We can create two farms over on this side. Hmm. Maybe at some point we will. We could also create an industrial zone over here or here. That would actually get us plus one production. We'll go for it. I'll, I'll take plus one production. Although it does get rid of, like, two food. But we're building farms over here to make up for that, so it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, this is Aretium. Aretium is doing fine in terms of production and food. Not doing well in food, actually, now that I look at it. To be honest, just go and trade with, like, Toronto. Because that gives production and money, which are the two things I'm concerned about right now. We'll go and trade with everyone, who knows. Uh, as for this envoy, where the heck are we sending this? Vilnius? Two culture? I'll take two culture. Sure thing. Two culture seems nice at this point. I don't want to get too far behind on the whole cultural aspect. Uh, what about if we have a quick look at the tree and see where the other guy is? He is getting forwards. Congo is going through this tree. Okay. He is at, like, this point. Things here. He is, like, an era ahead of me. That's worrying. Apart from the sanitation, mm. the medicine, education. And we have sanitation, which is good. So, that being said, what do we want to head to next? We can get stock exchange, which will give, me, give us money, but I'm not too worried about that. We'll also give us Big Ben. Again, not not that worrying. An economic policy slot. It's okay, but eh. Not too worried about any of that, to be honest. Chemistry, five science. That sounds nice. <laughs> that sounds nice. Ten turns, five science? Yeah, sure. We'll we'll just go straight through this tree. Then oh, we can go to rocketry from that. A district that is required to construct the science victory projects. This includes the launch Earth satellite, launch moon landing, Mars colony habitat. Oh my god. Okay, that's a lot of stuff there. That's a lot of stuff there. But I think we're going to be wrapping up this episode because it has been like 45 minutes as far as I am aware. And that, that is how long these episodes are aiming to be. So... If you guys are enjoying the Civ 6 playthrough, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!